Hello, I'm back. I um, yeah, I'm going to Yeah. <laughs> you want a big change on your yeah, hair? Yeah, I want uh, another haircut. So. Okay. And you want uh, something like a bob, but you don't know what? No. So. Okay. So we turn for you and the rest of the world to show what you have now. Yeah. And we're going also to change your color. So that will be also new. And you colored it uh, several times in the red and orange tones in the last month. Yes. Okay. Hello everyone on YouTube. Puck is my model and we're going to change your hair. First need some protection. And I have a little bit of cold, so there I could do nothing about. Yeah, I go to bed, but I'd never do that. Pin up the hair. And my video for uh, having a video with caves is almost in planning ready. I can't start on a yellow cape. Because it's nice when our red hair is falling off on a yellow cape. Come to wet hair, and what I think I'm going to do is uh, I'll, because it, now it looks like a block, a block of hair. Puck has uh, a beautiful neckline and beautiful shoulders, but this lays upon her shoulders like a wooden block, and I don't want that. I want to bring back the shape of her. Uh, skull, so I will make a, 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 yeah, a bob in, in a wonderful line downwards, but to create more neckline, and I want to create some volume on the back, but that I'll show you afterwards. And I create an ultra short neckline because that I like. Then I'm going to get, get some color off, and then I create a new color. And that depends on what the color is after we take some off. Again, pin up the hair. Do this over the skull bone. Create my first line to the hairline I'm going to work in. Come on, killing Puck. No, don't do that, don't do that. I know her mother, <laughs> she's gonna kill me. Okay, mag je draaien, schat. I pinned up over the skull bone, the line I'm going to cut. But I don't like uh, a sharp line into the neckline. So that's why I take this up. Make a nice shape, so it's, it gets a round shape. Because natural things are mostly round and not in a hard line. This part I'm going to get rid of. Mm -mm -mm -mm. First take off some length. I do this with a clipper. And then I work it out. And when you use uh, a, cup, uh, a hair cutter a chair to sit on and you have wheels, you don't put it on the ground because then your wheels get stuck. I'm gonna work this out. And you see how light uh, the natural color of Puck is. She's naturally blonde, where the red is undertone. It's a long time since the Puck had this short neckline. Use my blade as a comb. Afterwards, I think I'm going to color this a uh, little bit darker. So you better see there is hair on. Oh, oh. 
Bum, bum. Dat voelt zeker wel anders, of niet? Ja. Lekker. Oké, okay, en and now I'm going to cut my first line. And I stay in the rounding of what I just did and parted. Creating a strong line to work my hair on. Part about a centimeter, pin it away. Now I lay the hair in the fall of the skull. And again, pick up the rounding I just cut. Now I'm going down. And the angle of my scissor is working also in that line. So the upper layer is a little bit longer than the under hair. It's a, a Cobalt uh, 6 from Kione. It's a wonderful scissor. Nice, strong. Gives a, a strong feeling when you cut with this uh, scissor. Turn puck a little bit so you can see the rounding. And that's enough. Okay, thank you. Come to the other side. Set away the same line. Bring away the hair again. Again, lay the hair in the rounding of the skull and in the fall of the skull lines. Now I have to bend my scissor a little bit to me, because otherwise you don't get that line. And I'll start on the other line, because otherwise you can see what I'm doing. And work my line up. I'm still controlling if the line is perfect in the, in the way it lays but it has to lay down I just want a perfect bob, that's all something Puck can be proud of <laughs> ok, again, going to the left side I can lay the hair in the natural fall over the line I just cut. Bend my scissor again. In the mid, in the center on the skull line, it's up, and the rest is down. So I work till there's no hair left, part by part, about a centimeter, one and a half centimeter. Again, lay the hair on the line. Can bend the scissor on the line to the skull line up, and to you it's down. Now you see how wonderful strong the line becomes. Can lay the hair over the cut I just made. And now I come something more to the front because I took the hair from the ear line also with it. So I can find myself the way to cut the sharp bob. Start down, point to the place I want to go. And again work it up. Minor corrections to the line. To the front, bend the hair a little bit up again. Uh, bend the scissor, I'm sorry. I 
afterwards I control this by taking the hair in my hands and now it just creates some beautiful line. Comb the hair in the line, bend it down and work my line up. Now I take my hair up on my hands, just pull it a little bit, be sure my fingers lay in the same line I just cut and make minor corrections to that line I just made. Take the hair to the back, give it a slight graduation to the front and this curly line I'm going to take off because I don't like that curly line. To our left side I have to create the same line as I did on the right side of course, said the horse Wet the hair, lay it in the natural fold and in the rounding of the skull, bend my scissor again up at the skull line and at the chin of the skull line. Control over what you see on the right side. I get the same curve that I do. My bird. I am almost on the ear. To a new line. To the line again, start on the center and work my way down. This I do in a freehand style, and afterwards I control it again. I do it with this part. Ik moet alleen heel vaak lang wachten voor mijn gevoel. <coughs> Lay there in a nice fold again. And follow the line I cut. So I just have to lay my, my scissor on that line. To create the same line in there. So I can use that for, for a guide. Now take the hair a little bit to the back. Die buik van mij hoor je dat lijkt wel een wolf. You can hear my stomach. I didn't eat anything today. Bent the hair to the back again. Give it a slight graduation so it falls to, to the front and not to the back. Hold in the same line I just cut. Just to control the line. Now I have myself a slight problem, what not a problem is. But this line always curves because it's 
is, yeah, it has a, a curve by uh, the skull bone because because this lay deep and then you come in that I don't want so that I'm going to cut and I lay it just in the natural line of her hair. Now I'm certain that it don't irritate me or her. Parted the hair for her bang. Take small curly parts with it. I'm going to cut a straight just above the eyebrows bang. So now we see your wonderful eyes and lovely smile. And this I can connect to part of previous cut. So take this line also into it. Okay, and this has to be away. This is the bob I create on the book. Now I'm going to recall her hair so I take off some color. Okay, I made myself a bleach with 9% super bleach. I put in a, a product from Goldwell, Fire Blood, and it's on con deep conditioner base. You start on top. Flop, 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 they start on top. Now you see that the color of the bleach takes out the colors of her hair because the red is already uh, wetting down. It's running down terribly fast. And you see also that the, the warmth of the color is taken out by the bleach. The nice thing about working with the deep conditioner into the bleach is that the bleach is uh, nicer to work with. Don't smell that uh, heavy, and it's better, totally better for the hair. So now I'm going to close my plastic foil, and then we wait for about 20 25 minutes, but that'll tell you afterwards. Nice. So friends, I'm back. And this is the color that came out uh, in 25 minutes. And uh, I, I love this color because it's very nice on the skin tones. It looks wonderful on her. So what I made to create the outro back to this color, didn't do anything about it, just rinse it out. So you see how wonderful shiny the hair is and the condition is still 100% good. Going to... Um, Put a color on. This is one with 3%, that's 10 volume, and I made a 10 3 with a copper uh, as tone with it. So I try to get a, a shape that's not um, filling in but just laying on top of it. So there it comes a little bit more together. Uh, now it, it, this is a platinum blonde, platinum gold blonde, and I want to get warmed in it. And the back, I color a little bit darker because now that's platinum but that I show you. The color I use is from Lacme. And also in this color, even with 3% uh, tan volume, I use a deep conditioner. Because now the skin uh, is not irritated yet but every time you come with some chemical products on it, it can be irritating and that I don't want to happen. I want to keep the, re the rest into our natural feelings. Color on top as well, leave the rest out because that I wash in with uh, when I rinse it out. And now going to the back and I put into my rest colors 4-3. Uh, 
So it'll still be a gold tone. And that I do on the underlines. I didn't put any uh, parasite or uh, developer in it. Yeah, Hello, we're back. Gold. Orange gold. A new foam from uh, Rover Hair. It's a wonderful product. Comes like uh, cream. cream. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> Can tell you how it tastes. The hair is uh, totally wet now. So I'm going to try it uh, with a medium brush. To show it hands shot. Start with the front. Clean the contour line. Yeah. Use a little bit uh, serum of Lanza. Brings out the color even more. And this is my new hairstyle for Puck. Yeah. Puck, will you turn for you and the rest of the world and show the end result? Thank you very much.